I see you've come to my second channel for some more vegan content. Well, let's go, shall we? Dive deep in. People, when they see all the ways vegans can substitute eggs, weird flax, but okay. Apparently a can of chickpea aquafaba would uh, make a good substitute to egging people. I've never egged a person, I don't think. No, I don't think I've done that. Uh, chickpea water though, done many a time, done many a time. I'm actually a pro now, I'm actually very good at it. So what animals can I ethically ride? Men. I don't care how ethical it is, I'm not doing it. <laughs> no matter how vegan I am, I'm not doing it. The biggest anti-vegan tweets that go popular, the ones that reassure people they aren't the problem. It's not you, it's the big evil corporations who are just trying to meet the demand of y'all at the cheap price you want, as fast as y'all want it. Exactly what I said in my last video on this channel, well it might not be the last at this point, but I talked about taking some personal accountability, being responsible for your actions, realising that you have individual power and taking that and rolling with it, right? Come on, use it. Use it to your advantage. Stop funding things that you know are wrong. What are you doing? I'm done shopping at City Trends. What the fuck is this? That is the horse getting sweet, sweet revenge, my friend. That's what it looks like. I would absolutely buy this shirt. I'm tempted to come out with a t-shirt myself where the horse is riding the rider. That, that, that would be brilliant. Really interesting, isn't it? Because could you imagine if somebody did this over a pig or a cow, uh, you know, because someone, like, I could see it now, someone has a pet pig, right? And then their friends, friends, like, make fun of them and bring around bacon and try and feed the pig bacon, do something, and it just leads the owner to just be like, right, I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> like, could you imagine the headlines then be like, crazy vegans, oh my god, this is what happens when this is the world vegans want. But I can imagine the comment section of anywhere that this headline was placed was like, to be honest, I'd do the same thing and, you know what, they got what they deserved, animal abuser. If the same thing happened to a pig or a cow or any other animal apart from a cat or a dog, the comment section would be a very, very different place. It would be filled with anti-vegan nonsense. I dreamt that Earthling Ed was dating my Omni ex-girlfriend. Why, Ed? Ed, why? Why would you do that? Dreams are supposed to be a sacred place and you're dating someone's Omni ex-girlfriend? Disgusting. Please report Ed for this hate crime. What are non-vegans? Can someone tell me? Like... <laughs> Oh my god, word of advice, never try to cremate your deceased pet in your oven. Not only is it the worst smell imaginable, they do not turn to ashes, they just burn. This day did not start off good. I want to know what Christy's idea of a bad day is, because if this day just did not start off good, I'm very intrigued to know what the rest of her days look like. <laughs> Our word of advice, never do this thing that is so obscene and horrific that someone wouldn't do anyway. What on earth? Why do we hate animals that much? Bruh, vegan women versus non-vegan women. Smell the difference, taste the rainbow. Oh my God. Right, I don't wanna get too into detail. We can be a bit cheekier over here on Flamore, okay? <sighs> yeah, there is a difference. There is a difference. I, as um, one who bears one, Sorry that you have to think about that. And I, as one who uh, is a lesbian, right? So, you know, typically gonna be seeing those. Um, there is a difference, there absolutely is a difference. And I think it's the same for uh, a good old penis. I think it is. I think it's got something to do with the hormones. I don't know how it works, but there genuinely is a big, big difference um, in my experience, okay, maybe it's not but it seems to be the case this is just a short one for you because i'm gonna be honest with you i've been filming for four hours now <laughs> i've been bulk filming because i'm gonna be a busy busy bee for the next two weeks i'm uh sorting out something that's needed to be sorted for a while so it's gonna take a lot of my attention so i'm, I'm trying to stock up to to last me not only that two weeks but a little time afterwards that I will need to emotionally recover. So, 
yeah. <laughs> Thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you're well. Until next time, I will see you soon.